Hello everyone and welcome to this year's Gupta Developers Conference Digital. Um, my name is Ines Piech and I'm the host of the virtual event today and uh, tomorrow. Um, first of all, I hope everyone is safe and well, so uh, welcome again and good that you are on our event today. Um, in order to serve our Gupta developer community uh, during the situation we are in right now and to be able to continue our DEF CON series, we have decided to go with a virtual format um, and a European event this year. So I really appreciate um, to see so many attendees from 24 different countries. Uh, for taking the time today and tomorrow. So thank you again to each and every one um, of you for being uh, here with us today. Before we start, um, I want to remind you about a few housekeeping items. Um, you will be automatically muted when joining Teams. A recording uh, of the DEF CON will be available shortly and uh, also all slides and samples uh, will be available on OpenText, my support, our support portal. Um, throughout the webinar, uh, we will be compiling questions you might have, so please feel free to post them into the ask a question box on the right side of your screen. Uh, we will get to them at the end of every presentation uh, and if not, we will come back to you by email and answer your questions. Um, also check out our new product pages on our homepage opentext.com for more information. So um, let's get started. Um, let's have a look um, um, on our overview, what we want to cover today and tomorrow. So um, this day we mainly focus on our team developer product. Um, um, after this session and a company overview, uh, we will hear from one of our support members uh, to talk about uh, the latest customer experience uh, with our support group. Um, after that, we have the first team developer session um, with Martin uh, to talk uh, about the benefits of team developer 7.x series. Um, after the lunch break, um, we go uh, into a session about providing cloud remote access for team developer applications, um, followed by another TD session about responsive layout, code profiling and more. And the last session for today is about multi-threading and low code rest with team developer. Um, tomorrow we will cover all our other products. Um, again, first session um, in the morning about migrating from OTD applications uh, and versions to the latest version of uh, TD. Um, next session will be <coughs> uh, creating PDF files and viewing many file contents from team developer applications. After the lunch, um, we talk about TD Mobile and web applications. Then we have our SQL base session and we will uh, close the day uh, with a new product we want to introduce to you um, about high availability, recovery and migration of Windows and Linux servers, including SQL base. Um, so let's get started and welcome with me our first speaker. Let me introduce you to Holger Burkhardt. Um, he is Vice President Sales Worldwide for our business unit. Over to you, Holger. Thanks, Ines. Welcome to the Gupta Dev Days. As Ines mentioned, my name is Holger Burkhardt. I'm the VP of Portfolio Sales. My team is working on Gupta and other products within OpenText. In the last year, we organized in-person meetings. I'm a big fan of those uh, events, but like many of you, I miss talking and meeting to you in person. This said, the current situation forces us to change our communication, the way we meet and the way we support each other. And now we are doing a digital event and I'm impressed how many parties and customers joins us and I need to admit we may have done, uh, should have done this uh, earlier. Digitalization 
Um, this is a topic I would like to talk with you about. You saw an intro video showing market drivers, what people are working on, uh, what we need to achieve. We are building the digital futures. This includes the digital transformation, not a new challenge, not a quick thing. At least in my business career, it was always there and I guess it will always be with us in the future. The pandemic we are in just forces us to rethink what are customer expectations. They want us to adapt quicker because they need to adapt quicker. We need to deliver faster. All we need to do, all what we are doing needs to be more cost effective. The solution needs to be more flexible and ease of use supports that adoption. Quicker, easier, more cost effective to support adoption and protect our customers and make sure they manage and survive this change. One out of many areas is working in the cloud. Next slide, Martin. Cloudification, a trend which sees acceleration in this crisis. That's why today's agenda is inspired by the idea to help you and your customers to manage this transformation. Run into the cloud. ETX Exceed Trober X is a product helping uh, you and your customers to get access from anywhere and from any device. So run a solution in the cloud and have access from any device and from anywhere. Migrate. Migrate is a product which allows you seamless migrating a server instance to new hardware or to the cloud to run in the future this server in the cloud. And of course, be in the cloud with apps developed by TD Mobile. You will get more details for the solutions in the Dev Day sessions. Run, migrate and be in the cloud. Next slide. We are here to help. OpenText is a strong partner, a partner you can trust in. One aspect of this strength is our financial strength. And I would like to give you a brief update about the OpenText results. Next slide. Um, all the data, actually all the financial slides you see here are part of the investor and market publication and can be found on the Open Text web page. Open Text is the leader in the information management arena. 89 of the world's largest 100 companies are Open Text customers and uh, Open Text has shown six years of consecutive revenue growth. Next slide. The Open Text Fiscal is from July to June, so our fiscal 2020 ended in June. Uh, the financial highlights you can find on the right side. Just to give you some some ideas, the the revenue is has grown to more than 3.1 billion US dollar. Our cloud revenue has increased by more than 27 percent. And open text has an ex excellent free cash flow status, increased by 8.5%. We will continue to invest in products and we are looking for new mergers uh, and acquisitions. Next slide. Um, the last quarter was the first uh, in the open text fiscal 21. And the number shows we continue to be successful and strong. The current pandemic crisis is affecting all of us. Open text is doing great in the current situation. Uh, and if you look to the cloud revenue, it's even growing faster. Cloudification is a trend. Next slide. So Open text is a strong partner. We are a partner you can trust in and we will help you. Enjoy the Gupta Dev Days 2020. I hope you benefit from the sessions we put together for you. Stay safe, stay well, and back to you, Ines. Thanks, Holger. Um, I have a couple of more things for you. Uh, so first of all, I want to introduce you to a new face, Eric. 
he can't be with us live here today. He's based in California, so it would be in the middle of the night for him. Um, Eric is the uh, manager software engineering for the Gupta products. Um, Eric is with OpenText since 15 years. Um, as I said, he's based in Anaheim, California. Uh, he is responsible for managing multiple software engineering teams within our business unit. And uh, since February this year, he looks after the Gupta product set. Um, so he also works closely with product managers, our QA team, release engineering, and our support teams. Um, he also assumed the role of a Scrum master uh, to ensure that his development teams abide to Scrum and other frameworks and agile development methodologies. Um, he has also worked at the University of California in the division of mobile application development. So he is a perfect addition uh, to our development team. Next slide, Martin. Um, I want to remind you uh, of uh, our My Support portal I mentioned before, um, where you can find a lot of information starting from success stories, um, all presentations of the DEF CONs we had in the past, but you will also find um, the slides from this year pre uh, presentations, including our samples. Um, if you want to know what version of TD, for example, is compatible um, with what platform, uh, that's stored there as well. Um, you can find all the data sheets, uh, videos, and um, last thing I want to remind you of is the open text blog um, on our website, specifically about the Gupta product. So if you have not looked at it, I would encourage you to do so. Next slide. OK, and now here's the fun part. <laughs> if you um, will be joining all days uh, today and tomorrow, um, you can win an Apple Watch. Um, I hope you all clicked uh, that you agreed to, to the terms. Um, so after um, the event, we will uh, draw your name, one name from all of the attendees, um, so you can win the Apple Watch. OK. And with this, Martin, next slide. Um, yeah, with this, I will hand over the presentation now to Martin Tietz. He is the product manager for the Gupta products, and he will tell you all and everything what's on the roadmap for team developers, SQL Base, and TD Mobile. So over to you, Martin. Thank you very much, Ines, and uh, welcome, everybody. So I'm going to go through the um, roadmap of the Gupta products now. Going to talk about SQL Base, TD Mobile, and Team Developer, and we will have a Q&A session after this for the first few presentations. <clears throat> Initially, I'd like you to, to do this here. I have prepared a quick overview product survey that you can um, take now. Just um, scan the barcode on your smartphone and work through those questions. And when we go come to the question and answers, I will share the results for you with you. Or just go to bit.ly slash gupta dash product dash overview. Okay. <clears throat> so let's look at the SQL based roadmap. SQL based 12.x. 12.x is the current product line um, that has introduced major features in the past few years with multi-threading performance in SQL Base 12.0, now zero, um, automatic data upgrades, and a new um, <clears throat> database administration tool in SQL Base 12.1, and, and the first enhanced administration tool in 12.2, plus more SQL features and um, a .NET Core database support. And um, we also do SQL based service packs um, on uh, customer demand, of course. So we had SQL based 12.2 in January. We will have SQL based 12.2 in January um, <clears throat> next year. So that's the next first, next planned um, release. Sorry, I put that under available. Um, <clears throat> SQL based 12.2.1 was in April of this year and 12.13 in November 2019. 
And a quick word on the product life cycle um, within OpenText. Every OpenText product version has a five year life cycle. And you see here the table of um, versions that are in support in green and the versions that are out of support in red. So SQLbase 12.x is out of support since August this year. And 12.2, um, which is the current version, will, will be fully supported in engineering until July 2024. So the SQL Base roadmap. We have had SQL Base 12.2, and the next one is SQL Base 12.3 in Q3 uh, next year with security enhancements for password strengths, rules, and things like that. You will get <clears throat> a data protection audit to comply with GDPR rules. Um, some developer and query features, and <clears throat> you will get um, EDP installer enhancements like create a, a file maker list so that you can create easily the custom installers you need for your software um, solution. And you get some new API functions to de detect how many rows are affected by update and delete commands. And we also have a version 12.4 in the planning for uh, 2022 with um, <clears throat> developer features like support for the .NET Entity Framework, um, enhancements to the SQL Talk Plus um, administration tool like visual editors, scripting features, and we will also add other customer requested features um, like support for the .NET Entity Framework. So I had that two times. So this is customer requested, but we will also add other customer requested features um, until that time then. So this is the SQL base roadmap. Let's have a look at TD Mobile. TD Mobile 2.x <clears throat> has been available since quite a few releases now. We introduced hybrid native mobile applications in TD 2.0, TD Mobile 2.0. You got editable tables and many UX features in 2.1. You got source control included in the uh, IDE in TD Mobile 2.2. You get programming features and UX enhancements in TD Mobile 2.3 and enhanced programming and enhanced reporting in TD Mobile 2.4. So TD Mobile 2.4 is the current release. The <clears throat> latest available service pack is TD Mobile 2.4.1 in, uh, since October 2020. And again, the five year life cycle, the TD Mobile 2.4 version is um, supported in engineering until April 2025 and TD Mobile 2.0 is out of support since two months now. Here's the TD Mobile roadmap. The next version will be TD Mobile 2.5 in the fourth quarter of 2021 with new APIs like um, to save um, data directly to an Excel file on the back end. So you can um, create Excel files easily without having a grid control, for example, <clears throat> that you have on the um, team developer side. Day picker enhancements, you can display calendar weeks, array, array binding, binding to <clears throat> load, read multiple selected dates, and set the week start date. And we'll add other UX features like pop-up menus and other customer requested features that we will receive until then. And now let's have a look at um, <clears throat> Team Developer. I have the under the subtitle here, Business Class Desktop Applications. Most of you have been doing this for 20 plus years, maybe 30 plus years. And the current team developer 7.x series um, has received a number of very exciting and powerful features like 64-bit support in the TD 7.0, multi-threading and source control in 7.1, uh, <clears throat> code profiling and low-code REST in 7.2, the responsive layout that was very well received in uh, 7.3 that was basically that what we talked about at last year's um, developer day in Munich. And for team developer, you see <clears throat> we are providing <clears throat> very many service packs to satisfy your needs. You, ha you have available team developer 7.3 since um, November. So that was the last one that we just released a few days ago and is available on my support. 7.3.3 in October, 7.3.2 in September, 7.3.1 in June, 7.1.5 in June, 722 in April, 721 in September 2019. So you see, <clears throat> we are quite engaged and we have quite a <clears throat> short release cadence um, there. And Steph after me will talk about the release cadence model that we developed in the past few years. And we also have upcoming service packs, just to mention 716 in January, 734 in February, and 2724 in March. And of course, that will be continue. 
<clears throat> here's the team developer life cycle. So the current 7.4, no, sorry, the current 7.3 product will be supported until January 2025. The next one, 7.4, will be supported until um, Q2 in 2026. And the team developer 6.3 and older versions are out of support since March this year. So it's time to upgrade to the 7.3. <clears throat> So here's the roadmap, and by, this, <clears throat> by the way, these are the slides that are also being used on the uh, Gupta My Support, where you can always check the um, roadmaps. And basically, what you see now uh, will be the update for the Gupta roadmap for um, <clears throat> for the new year. So 7.4 will come in Q2 2021 with programming features. You will see for each loops, continuous statement for loops. So <clears throat> nice um, programming enhancements for uh, loops, and I will be showing some of this actually in the <clears throat> 7.x team developer session later today. Um, application deployment enhancements, you will be able to distribute applications via the Windows Store. You will get an installer creator for Win32, Win64 applications, which we already have for .NET. You get re quite a few reporting enhancements, and this list here isn't, um, <clears throat> isn't totally complete. Um, I will talk to the reporting um, <clears throat> enhancements in, in the next slide then, and some UX features um, <clears throat> like .NET control anchoring and ribbon bar class. We will also have a Gupta team developer 7.5 planned for Q2 2022 with um, programming enhancements like UDV cloning, UX features <clears throat> like responsive layout percent resize property, so you can basically set up the um, <clears throat> the real estate and assign percentages of the complete width or height of a window to a control to better control the <clears throat> behavior of the responsive layout. Multi-column combo box, a native splitter control, spell checking, and in, in reporting we will add preview zoom, zooming, and we will also add more re customer requested features as they come in. And we will, of course, <clears throat> surely learn more feature requests from you guys today, I, I hope. And that's the high level roadmap. Now let's look a bit more in detail into Team Developer 7.4. So for each loops, continue statement for loops. So basically you can say continue and it will go into the next iteration of the loop. Reporting enhancements, you see there are quite a few. You can now insert PDF or TIFF files between report pages. So we can create kind of mesh reports, um, which is quite powerful. You can, <clears throat> you can use PNG image transparency um, for images in your report. The EXIF data of an image is used for the image orientation, so it does always um, orient um, portray uh, pictures, for example, in the right um, <clears throat> orientation. You have conditional display for the picture control in Report Builder. You have support for more break groups, 16, before you had eight, you get support for duplex printing right out of TD, and <clears throat> you get an API to send a PDF file right to the printer without um, running, without um, sending, a, you know, without using report builder APIs. UX enhancements, responsive layout. <clears throat> you get control anchoring for .NET applications, control anchoring for toolbars. You get a new ribbon bar class so that the entire windows are um, object oriented now. And that has been requested quite a number of times. Window zooming, you can increase the size of window contents. So um, if you want to increase the size of fonts and everything, you can now do that very easily. And I will show that off later. The deployment enhancements, MSI installer creation, and support for selling TD applications via the Microsoft Store. And there's one IDE enhancement, a combined find and search dialog. And <clears throat> That really is um, oh, the 7.4 preview. <clears throat> we will do that in the um, 7.x series presentation. So, and then let's talk about Team Developer 7.5. So, user interface enhancements. There are quite a number planned for 7.5 the multi column combo box, a native splitter control, spell checker 
MDI background image, move rows in a grid. So you can basically have an, you will have an API that moves uh, rows around in a grid. Um, <clears throat> grid cells will be able to visually indicate a double click. They are double click enabled. Um, I mentioned the responsive layout feature that we will add so you can um, kind of <clears throat> assign the space that each control can use in the entire space of the underlying um, window. Report zooming, preview zooming. Um, IDE enhancements, you get active X generation from preferences window. You get um, Git support for Azure DevOps. So um, if you're using the cloud, Microsoft Cloud Git, then uh, you need other um, authentication methods that we will add. Um, and programming enhancements, UDV cloning, that is a handy feature. So you can simply <coughs> assign a UDV to a new UDV and all values will be passed over. API enhance, enhancements, <clears throat> you get a Zala mail RTF format and a Zala menu functions for tooltip and status text. <clears throat> 